today's laundry day. So I've got a pack of laundry on me. We don't have the convenience of having a washer dryer in the unit, so we gotta go into town and find a laundromat so they can wash our clothes. Hopefully they can get it back to us today. If not, we'll have to wait until Monday to get our clothing back because they're closed on Sundays. <sighs> and Sawyer's legs are broken apparently because he asked me to carry him very first thing this morning. No, my legs are not broken. Then why aren't you walking? Because I don't want to. <laughs> because you don't want to. Will you carry me some? Yes. Yeah? I'm not okay. gonna carry you. All right, we got about a quarter of a mile walk to jump get to the up. laundromat. Can you jump me up? There you go, you jumped up. Well, Sawyer and I are gonna help the ladies with the laundry to the laundromat, and then we're gonna come back and play in the house. Sammy and Mommy are gonna go over to the bakery because when we went to the bakery last time and searched for the marshmallow bunnies, they said that Saturday they would have a restock. So hopefully we can go over and get the bunnies that were promised. You're getting heavy, bud. You know that? Because I'm a great boy and I'm getting bigger. You are getting bigger. Oh my goodness, you gotta walk though. Ah, hold my hand. Nice cloud cover this morning, so it's a little cooler than it was yesterday afternoon because it is muchos caliente. But right now it feels really nice. If it was like this all the time, then it would be wonderful. But yesterday was really hot and it's supposed to be hot all week. Watch out. Oh, you found the footprints. These are from the rhino and the hawk hawk and glade goblin and rhino. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The bad guys? Yeah. Well, let's go this way and spend more. Yeah. That's funny. Making our way to the laundromat. It's a little bit of a walk. A little longer than I thought. But I think we're almost there. <laughs> so they're making the concrete over here. And then they put it in a bucket. And then someone carries the bucket all the way over. And then they use it to, to carry up. And then they're making this wall here. That's pretty cool. And then they dump it up there, huh? Good job, Spider-Man. Hola, buenos dias. Que hora? A las siete de la noche. Siete? Siete de la noche. At seven, we can come pick it up. So they can do it for us today but we gotta come pick it up at seven, which is usually as we're putting the kids to sleep. So, we'll see how that all works out. Cinco kilos. Five kilos. <laughs> so for 11 pounds of laundry, it's gonna come out to around 60 pesos, which is around $3 or so. So we'll pick that up later today, once it's all clean and washed and fresh. You ready to go back with me? You forgot to make me I'll carry you in a moment. Okay, so I think the plan is Sawyer and I are going to head back to the room and Sissy and Mommy, you guys can go to the bakery. Yes. How about that? Yes, that's what we okay. plan. That's the plan? I just don't know how to get back. Well, give me your phone. Come this way. It's in my pocket. Can you grab it? Bubba, you got to help me get back to the house. How did I, get I know. There? You know how to get there? How did I get there? A mosquito bite. I know, baby. Sometimes we're super careful, but things still happen that are out of our control. Look, he's riding on the motorbike with his dad. Is that cool? Would you ride on a motorbike with daddy? Yeah? Right now. Right now? Let's go get on that one. I promise to carry you. I'll Hold carry on. you a little bit. Oh! So we'll carry you this way. I know. We'll carry you this way, and then when you and mommy go that way, and Bubby and I go this way, I'll drop you down, okay? Mm -hmm. Look, we should get a motorbike like that. And then you got you guys can ride in the middle with mommy and daddy. Oh, gonna rock in my shoe. Oh no, Papa. Oh look, there's bunnies and stuff over there. Yeah, I understand. You see this? Mosquito! Oh ready, bud? Watch your head. What is that? It's a cable. Yeah. Alright, love you guys. Love you. Be safe. Come on, bud. Yeah. Sawyer and I are going to head back to the house and play some games. Sawyer wanted to keep playing. He didn't really want to come on the walk this morning. But he was a good sport and he came out with us. It's time to put the hat on, bud. Woo. It's getting sunny now. There you go, Spider-Man. Ready to go? All right, now we're good. Now we got some protection. You're doing a great job walking, bud. You like walking? Yes. All right, good deal. Let's go, bud. 
Yeah. You walk. You walk there, and I'll walk up here. Okay. Okay. There's no sidewalk here. Good job, buddy. Just hold my hand. Hang on, let me fix my hat. All right, hold my hand. Here we go. What else, Diaz? Good job, Bubba. Say hi. Hi. All right, let's go. Everyone's so friendly here. Oh, here comes a doggy. Don't touch him, okay? He looks very friendly, but don't touch him. All right, we got two more blocks, Bubba. And then, we, and then we're gonna turn left. You're doing great. Look at him. He's in a tree. He is in a tree. Oh, he's getting some fruit. That was cool, huh? Yeah. You wanna climb in the tree and get some fruit? Yeah. Sawyer spotted a boy in the tree. Looks like he just came out of his house, went across the street, jumped up on the ledge, grabbed some fruit. Not exactly sure what it was. It kind of looked like an orange. It was a peach. It was a peach? It was a peach orange. Here's Calais 26. What? This is where we gotta go. What? This is our street. All right. Good job, Bubba. Squeeze through there. All right, and let's walk on the sidewalk a little bit. Don't go on that side. Trash. Yeah, we won't step on the trash. Somebody was in their home swinging on a hammock. Did you see that? I saw only the hammock. We're gonna cross here, okay? Let's go. Come on. Gracias. Come on. Good job, buddy. We're almost there, okay? Okay. We don't even have to carry me. I know, you're doing such a good job. You know how far you've walked this morning already? How? A half a mile. That's a lot. No, how, you know how much I walked? How much? A hundred. A hundred miles? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. All right, hang on, let me check my phone. All right, they wrote us. Okay, they made it to the bakery, bud. And look where we're at, we're on most of the house. Yeah, the house is just right there. This is ours? Yeah. You think so? No. No, come on. You want to see where our house is? Yeah, I want you to show me where it's at. Because I don't know. Show me where it's at. It's way down there. You see that yellow with the red on top? That's yeah? It is. is it? Yeah. Okay, you take us there. Yeah. Oh, shucks. This, this is it? Yeah. All right, let's go. Good job, bud. You found us home. I thought this, I thought the, the one way over there Yeah, they're similar, huh? Well, certainly, certainly, I saw this door, and it was our house. Good job, bud. You remembered that that was our door? Yeah. All right. Where are we going, guys? To a fountain. Why are we going to the fountain? Just get the glasses back. We are making our way back into town. We've actually got a meeting scheduled for 4 p.m. at the fountain. And we're heading to the fountain because yesterday when we were over at the San Bernardino convent, Sawyer left his Spider-Man glasses. Just hanging out at the convent of San Bernardino. Just hanging out, there's the Valle Dali sign here. Which is a, it's very popular, people get a picture. There's a uh, graduation picture something going on back here? 
High school graduation, it looks like. The kids met a friend. He's five years old, so we got Sawyer, who's three, Sammy, who's four, and his name's Robison, he's five. They can't understand each other because of the language barrier, but that doesn't keep kids from playing, which is so cool. It's awesome to see them play together and just have fun. Nicole's Spanish is getting really good, so she's able to communicate with the locals. I can say hello, good day, thank you. Where's the toilet? That's about it yet. The lady that we met yesterday reached out to us on Instagram and let us know that Sawyer left his glasses and they had retrieved them after we had left and she offered to meet us in town. So we're going to go in to town, we're going to meet them, we're going to get Spider-Man glasses back. And then we're going to have fun with them. And then we're going to have some fun. We've had a pretty nice relaxing afternoon, did a little cleanup in the room earlier and then we spent most of our afternoon in the pool just hanging out trying to teach the kids how to swim and we had some lunch outside it's been a nice enjoyable day so far but it is mucho caliente once again it's very hot it's very hot i think it's around 100 degrees right now and let's go you know what that is Water for the doggy. Yeah, I think that's what it is for. Good job. Oh, he's in there. Let's see. Two plus three. Yeah, he's three big, makes huh? Five. Yeah. Three plus three makes. Come on, Sammy. Good job, bud. Good job. It seems that not a lot of people here have air conditioning, which is just crazy to me because it's it's really hot. Most houses that we walk by, though, generally the windows are open and the doors are open and there's hammocks and people are swinging in their hammocks or laying down on their floors. It's gotta be pretty miserable. But I guess that's just the way of life here. All about the garbage people. See how they throw the garbage up? They don't have the truck. They do it all by hand. Do you like that, Bubba? Yeah. Is, that, is this better than the garbage truck or is the garbage truck better? Yeah, that's better. Is better? No, it's green. It was red when I looked. Let's go. Hey, Poochie. All right, let's go to the fountain, guys. All right, we're at the city square, and it is packed. I haven't seen it this busy since we've been here, but it is Saturday. I see a lot of tourist buses here. This must be where all the tourists are coming. Uh, they drop them off for a couple of hours. They get out, they shop, they do their souvenirs. And then there's the church just over in the end of the square there. You guys know who we're looking for from yesterday? Would I be son? Go see if you can find him. Let me know if you see him anywhere. Okay. Else can you shall receive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Isn't that nice? Yeah, they're super friendly. Oh, Mexicans are just full of love. Full of love. You got your glasses now? Yes, baby. Did you tell them gracias? Gracias. Go tell them. No, daddy. Don't tell me gracias. Tell, tell Robinson and his mommy gracias. No, I want to. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I just asked if he told them gracias. Go tell him. Go tell him gracias. He knew that it was yours. Because he remembered your Spider-Man hat. Robinson, muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take him. He's fast, huh? <laughs> so we found him. We got his Spider-Man glasses back. That was very kind of them. We met a lady while we were waiting here from Canada. She uh, told us some of the less known spots here. There's a museum that we'll go check out based on her recommendation. And we already checked out the chocolate museum. She gave us uh, some tips when we visit Puerto Morales, which will be next month. But she said right now Puerto Morales is very dangerous for solo travers, travelers. Uh, she is a solo traveler. She said we should be fine as a family, but that kind of makes me a little more cautious. He says there's a lot of cartel activity there. Because they went into Puerto Morales 
when COVID hit and the government went and helped them, and the cart so the cartel went in and fed all the people when they were starving. So there's a lot of loyalty between the local population there and the cartel. Uh, and their port has been opened. So the cartel wants access to the port. So there's a there's a large activity there. Uh, but we'll just have to be safe, and we'll see how things are there when we actually get there. I got him. You got him. Good job, bub. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was cool. The kiddos got to meet Robinson again, play with him and have some fun. They played tag for the most part. I think Robinson was trying to teach Sawyer or something, but he couldn't understand him. So there's still that language barrier there. But the kids had a lot of fun. Now we're going to go grab a bite to eat. Our new friend told us about a taqueria around the corner from the square and we went to go find it. Uh, but unfortunately it was closed so we looked up another one that wasn't too far away and we've settled on this one. Hopefully it's as good as the other one was hyped up to be. It's Comida Express. We ordered some authentic Mexican tacos. I'm super excited to eat them. tacos they asked if I wanted some salsa and I asked how hot it was well Nicole asked how hot it was and they said it was very hot so I had her go ask if they had anything that wasn't so spicy and they said they did but they're actually back there making some for me now so that's very nice so excited let's try it let's try it without the sauce got something very hot oh it is hot no not spicy Oh, caliente. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Caliente. No, pizza. Okay, okay. Look who's hand. Look who's hand is. Whose hand is that? That's your hand? All right. Careful, watch what you're doing. That's, uh, that's Sawyer's hand. All right. All right, so I got me some homemade sauce from scratch. It's fresh. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna spoon it all over top of this, and then I'm gonna do it. Bobby too. Sammy too. Mm. Bye. Uh huh. That was delicious. Highly recommend if you're ever in Valladolid, swing by and check out that restaurant. Try the chicken tacos. Now we got our bellies full. We're heading back to the square and then we're gonna swing by the laundry mat and see if they got our laundry finished so we don't have to wait up until 7 p.m. Because that's usually when the kiddos are getting put to bed and they're already a little exhausted and wore out from today. I love you, Bowie. In many countries where it's so hot during the day, they have a lot of night markets. So I think this is similar here. We're seeing the, the city come alive now when it starts. That makes sense. Come oh, ahead. All right, here we go. The party is starting. The city's coming to life. This is neat. This is super cool. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in the trees here, but the birds are going crazy. Motorcycles, huh? That, like, actually scared Is it on the other side of him, or? We gotta go three more blocks. Good job. Mission successful. Got our laundry. Three bucks. Four bucks. Three bucks. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we're gonna trip, make the trek home. We got about a 10 minute walk but it's dark, we should be all right.
go across this thing. Mango. Look, mangoes. Mangoes and something else. A cherry. Something, yeah? Maybe like uh, cherries like that are new. Maybe. That are not real good yet. Do you like walking at night, Sammy? Yeah. Do you? It's much cooler, huh? Like temperature wise. I don't like the sun. I like this. Yeah, it's a lot cooler at night. This is this is much more manageable. We could walk around for hours like this, huh? What do you think, bud? Watch the bike rider. Woo. I'm very surprised that the kiddos haven't passed out yet, or they're not begging us to carry them. They're little troopers. They're just walking with us, keeping us company. It's adorable. I heard like something. Oh, mommy says there's a snake. Let's go look. Hang on. He's right, his head is right here. There. Oh, I see. If it comes to you, Sammy, walk away, okay? Aww. Say thanks, guys. Say hasta luego. Bye bye. Have a good night. Say good night. Buenas noches. Say bye. Hasta luego. So cool. He's just a pup. He's just guarding his house. Don't worry about him. Just don't pay attention to him, okay? Come on. You good, Bubba? Are right, you ready to go home and go to bed? <laughs> Buenas noches. Hola. Hola. Daddy, what are those called? Chihuahua. I hear, I hear the chihuahua. You heard them over there? Yeah. <laughs> we made it back. It's time to hit the sack. Successful day. I've never done so much work to get laundry done, but it was well worth it. We've got another two weeks of laundry now. Uh, I guess this is the new norm. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.